Good evening all and welcome to this wonderful occasion, the 2024 TDP Graduation Concert. My name is Anne Fitzgerald and I'm the CEO of the Talent Development Project. I would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we celebrate tonight. I would like to pay my respects to all elders, past and present, and to the children of today who are the elders of the future. Over decades, there have been many fine young graduates emerge from the TDP to go on to achieve national and international success. And I have no doubt that our 11 graduating students this year will be no different. Let me tell you who are our graduates that you will see perform tonight. Alicia Cooper, Taramara High School. Amelia Arcadi, Lampton High School. Coral Renee, Riverside Girls High School. Dashani Martins, Gulgong High School. Emogen Rain, Mwilumba High School. Gemma Willis, Northern Beaches Secondary College, McKellar Girls Campus. Imogen Mumberson, Riverside Girls High School. Carl Van Well, Newtown High School of the Performing Arts. Monique Razo, Northern Beaches Secondary College, McKellar Girls Campus. Ruby Rezarnes, oh no, let me get that right, Rezarnes, Sydney Secondary College, Blackwater Bay Campus. And Sunrise Michelle, Narara Valley High School. You can, yeah, give them a clap. They're out the back, they can hear me, I think. You can find out much more about the 11 artists and the lineup tonight in the graduation event app that you would have received when booking your ticket. You'll see in the program that there is an interval at 8.20 tonight and the show will conclude by 10 p.m. Now to our wonderful sponsors. We can't do any of what we do at TDP without the generous support of the New South Wales Department of Education. And tonight, we are joined by Dr. Sylvia Corrish, Education Director, Student Support and Specialist Programs, and Ms. Geordie Austin, Director, Arts, Sport and Initiative, Initiatives. Thanks so much for all you do, Sylvia and Geordie. <laughs> Similarly, we enjoy the support of your local club, and I thank Clubs New South Wales for your investment in the future generation of Australian performers. I also wish to thank Jenny Veris and the ICC team, team for hosting us tonight and for showcasing our TDP artists as part of their important legacy program. To Waterloo Studio, Studios, our home for our monthly workshops, and Studios 301 for the recording of the TDP album. Thank you, and thank you to all of our other sponsors as well. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the stage the wonderful chair of the TDP board, Pam Christie, to address you all. Thank you, Pam. Thank you, Anne. Hi, everybody. I'd also like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land we meet on, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respect to elders past and present. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you here tonight on behalf of the Talent Development Project Board. And uh, what an amazing bunch of graduates we've got and I'm sure, like me, you're very excited to um, watch their performance tonight. Um, on behalf of the board, I'd like to congratulate each and every one of those graduates. And you can imagine the effort, the work that they've put in to get where they've got tonight is just amazing. Now, as a mother of a musician, I have some idea that behind the scenes, there are some very, very dedicated family and friends of the graduates. I met some of them as I walked in, and the smile across their faces was um, told it all, how proud they are of you, of the graduates, um, but I know that you've had a lot to do with their success, so can I thank and acknowledge that great contribution? 
Our role at, um, of the board of the Talent Development Project is to ensure that we um, keep the organisation to its mission, which you saw, which is about nurturing the talents of emerging young Australian musicians, singers, uh, songwriters, performers, and to guide them towards sustainable careers. So we're very, very focused on that. Um, this year we had 78 um, young artists that were participated in the program. So tonight you're seeing the top 11 that have graduated. But we support all those participants and many of them will come back to us next year. We also have um, engaged 60 of our alumni in program activities this year. And our alumni are a very, very important part of the program because they support our students in all sorts of way, in backing bands, um, open mic nights, pop-up cabarets, talent workshops, etc., mentoring our current students. So we thank and acknowledge all of our alumni. Um, we actually have an alumni with us tonight who's a very special person. Um, it's John Foreman. And he's not only an alumni of the TDP because he was a graduate back in 1992. That's how long the program's been going. Um, and he's a long-serving member of our board. And we really thank you, John, for making the effort to come. <laughs> for those that you don't know, you've probably seen him on TV, but he's a, a very successful musical director, a pianist, and a composer. So a great mentor uh, and a great role model for us in the, in the program. And we've really appreciated all the support and um, contribution that he's made over many years. Um, I'd also like to acknowledge our amazing CEO, um, Anne Fitzgerald, and uh, also our artistic director, Peter Cousins. Together with the small TDP team, because it is a small team, but as a board, we know how lucky we are to have such dedicated people that work tirelessly. And again, for those of you that have been close to the program will know what a difference that passion and that commitment makes. So on behalf of the board, can I also acknowledge our sponsors, obviously a very important part of our role. Um, but uh, particularly the Department of Education and, and Clubs New South Wales. Um, I'm glad you've been able to be here tonight and uh, I once again see the amazing talent. Um, so it's now my pleasure to invite Dr Sylvia Corridge to the stage to address you. Thank you everyone, enjoy the night. Good evening, everyone. My great pleasure to be here, and obviously I acknowledge we're on Gadigal land, always was, always will be. Um, it's obviously a great um, honour to be part of the Talent Development Project. These young people uh, don't just volunteer to be part of this program. They go through a strenuous process to be selected to be part of the project. So they start off and doing a whole range of unusual and, and stimulating activities to continue to build the talents that they have and the skills that they've worked so hard with over all the years. But then they have to persevere and as Pam said, um, they show great resilience, they show great strength and commitment to their skill set, whether it be drama, arts, um, music, dance, visual arts. So again, I think we should congratulate them for making it this far. Congratulations to our graduates this year. It's really interesting when you have a look at um, of the students. The Department of Education is a very proud supporter of the Talent Development Project. Jordi Austin, who's the Director of Arts, Sport and Initiatives, um, and I have enjoyed thoroughly working with Anne over the years, and I commend her on her work and the changes that she's bringing about in terms of the Talent Development Project. We also have a connection with the Talent Development Project and some of the students that are independently selected for School Spectacular. And so that's um, a great honour for us to see some of these students coming through when they, we know that they've been involved with School Spec for many years as well. And again, that's when John Foreman comes in. John has been a huge supporter of School Spectacular. Um, obviously a member of the board for the TDP, but we're also very um, thankful to John that he has taken on that role, continuing to mentor our students. In fact, it was only a few weeks ago he 
came to Sydney again to make sure that he could work with us and work with our students in terms of the hosting program that we have established. So can we thank John again for his long-term commitment, please? So we're proud supporters of the Talent Development Project, the Department of Education through the New South Wales Government. I'd like to acknowledge uh, Greg Pryor. Greg Pryor, who you may know was um, a past member of the board and who um, is no longer with us, but his wonderful uh, partner, Mac, is with us tonight and this evening. And so it's a great honour to always be available to recognise Greg's great passion for the TDP and for the work that he put in, whether he was our Deputy Secretary at the time or whether he had decided he was going to retire, but he continued to maintain his commitment to the Talent Development Project and the very talented young people we have in New South Wales Public Schools. Can I congratulate all our graduates? It's um, an honour to be here. We really enjoy being here. Geordie and I always enjoy observing the talent that these young people have, and um, thank you again for inviting us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pam and Sylvia. There's one more important formality tonight before the concert begins, and that is to award three very prestigious TDP scholarships. Once students graduate from TDP, they become part of an alumni that spans over 30 years. The TDP draws on its alumni, as I think uh, Pam and, and, um, George, and um, Sylvia have just said, we draw on our alumni to provide student mentoring and consultancy services that strengthen the program and makes it truly unique. TDP also books hundreds of public and corporate events for past students as we are known as the place for unique and exceptional young Australian talent. In other words, our belief in our students' talent extends far beyond the period that they are in the program and providing scholarships in conjunction with very generous donors is yet another way of demonstrating this strong belief. So our first scholarship to be awarded tonight is the inaugural TDP Jacob Neal Scholarship. This new $5,000 scholarship has been introduced this year to honour the name, memory and legacy of Jacob Neal and has been made possible by Nicholas Gentile and the universe. Firstly, let me tell you a little bit about Jacob. Jacob Neal graduated from the TDP in 2012 and was the TDP musical director from 2016 to 2022, a role he excelled at with passion and energy. Jacob was also an accomplished musician, composer and arranger, and an arranger. And as a true musician's musician, Jacob was the quiet force behind many popular ensembles and programs. There is no doubt that Jacob Neal has played a pivotal role in the lives of many, many young Australian musicians. But sadly, he passed away late last year at the age of 30 from brain cancer. He is greatly missed. At TDP, we want to um, remember Jacob's le legacy and we want it to live on through this annual scholarship. And so it is only fitting that it be awarded to a graduate of the TDP who demonstrates outstanding aptitude as a music director of a band or orchestra, an arranger, producer or multi-instrumentalist. All the TDP alumni who have graduated since 2012 and met that eligibility criteria were invited to apply. It is now my absolute pleasure to invite to the stage Nicholas Gentile from Universe and Sam Evans, both TDP alumni, and Jacob's parents, Mandy and Marcus Neal, to present the TDP Jacob Neal Scholarship. Good evening. It's an honour to be here tonight representing the universe to present the Jacob Neal Scholarship. This scholarship holds a special place in our hearts as it commemorates our dear friend and colleague, Jacob Neal. 
As Anne said, Jacob was not just a talented musician, he was a visionary. He was a mentor and an inspiration to many, including myself. I had the pleasure of first meeting Jacob when we won the TDP Bound for Broadway scholarship and traveled to New York together. I was immediately struck by his endless talent and most of all, his kindness. His dedication to nurturing young talent and his passion for musical innovation set a high standard for us all. Tonight, we honor his memory and his legacy through this scholarship. Joining me in the design of the Jacob Neal Scholarship and on the adjudication panel was Jacob's closest friend, Sam, who's also a TDP alumni, who is here with us tonight. It was our mission to celebrate Jacob's memory by awarding the scholarship to a graduate of the TDP who exemplifies outstanding musical aptitude across various genres. More than just technical skill, this scholarship celebrates those who show a deep passion for musical innovation and artistic entrepreneurship. We looked for candidates who were committed to advancing their musical journey holistically. The scholarship valued at $5,000 is designed to support the recipient's continued musical growth and endeavors. I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to Sam and for Jacob's wonderful parents who are here with us tonight to present this award. Your presence is a poignant reminder of the love and support that underpinned Jacob's success and the values he stood for. This scholarship is funded by the universe, whose mission is to foster and nurture young talent internationally. We believe in providing opportunities and resources to help young musicians reach their full potential. The Jacob Neal Scholarship is a testament to this commitment, and we are proud to be its sponsor. As Sam and I filtered through the applications, all of which were exemplary, there was a standout applicant who blew us away. So it's my pleasure to announce the inaugural winner of the Jacob Neal Scholarship. Please welcome to the stage, Tim Dubinsky. <laughs> Tim graduated from the TDP in 2021 and is a musician who composes, conducts, uh, and performs. He started as a guitarist playing rock and pop before a gradual shift into jazz and classical. Later this year, uh, Tim will be auditioning for the Australian Conducting Academy, which is a year-long intensive training program with all of the professional state orchestras. Tim, you are truly a young leader in Australian classical music, and we congratulate you on this scholarship. Thank you. Sure. Oh, come on, Manning. Thank you. How do you want them sent to you? Great. Tim, did you want to say a couple of quick words? Um, thank you so much to everyone. Thank you so much to everyone up here. Uh, Jacob Neal was um, uh, going through this program in 2021 as an instrumentalist. Jacob Neal provided such a deeper understanding uh, and appreciation for everything I was trying to achieve and he provided me with some of the best wisdom he could. He was kind, he always included me in everything, he explained things so beautifully and it's, he's just such a beautiful person and I'm absolutely honoured to, um, to have received the inaugural scholarship. Uh, thank you so much to everyone once again. It's, a, it's an honour. Thank you, Nick and Sam and Marcus and Mandy, and congratulations to you, Tim. Tim's actually on guitar in the band tonight too, so he's a very versatile young man. The second scholarship to be awarded is the T TDP Gregory Pryor Scholarship. This $7,000 scholarship is, is named in honour of Gregory Pryor, late director and past deputy chair of the TDP. I would also like to acknowledge Greg's wife, Heather MacDonald, who is here tonight, and thank you, Mac, for your financial generosity towards this scholarship each year. 
This scholarship was open to TDP alumni who have graduated since 2019 and who need assistance to advance their musical ambitions in their early years after graduation. The recipient of the scholarship is unable to be with us here tonight, but I am pleased to announce that she is Felicity Dowd. <laughs> Let me tell you a little bit about Felicity. Well, she hails from the New South Wales South Coast and graduated TDP in 2021. Inspired by an eclectic and ever-changing landscape of genres, her music is diverse, drifting between the boundaries of folk and country. Felicity has always believed a song is only as good as its story. Hence, she shares stories of depth, heart and humour that intertwine the experiences of the world around her. This ideology and passion has been noticed by many industry professionals, with Felicity having already earned this um, four times the Tamworth Songwriting Association Salute Awards, including the 2023 New Songwriter of the Year at the Tamworth Country Music Festival. Living full time now in her vintage 1974 travel home caravan, suitably named Van Morrison, Felicity is always touring and this scholarship will allow her to further a nationwide tour in conjunction with releasing her new album. She will also be heading to Nashville to write and perform. I congratulate Felicity and she has sent us a message of thanks. So let's take a look. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to Greg Pryor. Thank you so much to the Talent Development Project. Thank you so much to everyone else who has supported me along this journey and everyone else who has gotten me to where I am today. Since graduating TDP in 2021, it's been a pretty wild ride. I've achieved so many things that I only dreamed of achieving as a kid. I've met so many people and I've got to do so many awesome, amazing, performing, musical things. It's, it's been incredible. I attribute so much of where I am today to TDP and to know that they want to continue supporting me through this scholarship is incredible. The Greg Pryor Scholarship is really going to give me the next stage in my career and I am so excited for what that brings. Congratulations to all the other scholarship recipients tonight. I can't wait to see what you do in your future as well as to the 2024 graduates. You have such a long way ahead of you and it's going to be incredible to watch you guys grow. Thank you so much again. I hope you really enjoy your night and uh, I can't wait to see all of you guys in person very, very soon. And now to our third TDP scholarship named in honour of Mary Lopez AM, who co-founded the TDP... Oh, you right? Clap away, let me just finish this little bit here and then we can. <laughs> in honour of Mary Lopez AM who co-founded the TDP in 1991 and created the unique TDP training program. Mary was the TDP's artistic director until her retirement in 2018 and she has been instrumental in the nurturing, development and showcasing of Australian talent over a career spanning 50 years. As Mary makes her way to the stage, let me tell you a little bit about this $10,000 scholarship, which is generously supported by Out There Productions and the Summer Nats. It is awarded annually to a TDP graduate who has shown passion, growth and versatility, and who can demonstrate serious long-term commitment to their work and a need for this financial investment to take the next steps in their career development. Welcome, Mary to present this scholarship. Thank you. Can I see? Oh, yes. Hello, everyone. I think I'll put my glasses on. It's a bit dark up here. Look, the recipients of tonight's scholarship are quite amazing. But I want to talk about, first of all, the applicants for the scholarship. There were seven outstanding applicants. And I feel that there's only one winner, but the six runner-ups will each receive from me personally $500 in recognition, <laughs> in recognition of their wonderful effort in putting together the application. And my 
recognition and acknowledgement of their great success and dedication to their work, along with their wonderful talents. But I've chosen one, with the help of Andrew B, who's quite outstanding and very public at the moment. And she is Max Jackson. And so, Max, from the, her beginning of life in the small country town of Canamble in New South Wales, to being a winner of Australia's biggest country music competition, playing national and international country music festivals, the last few years have been quite the ride for the Australian country music artist. Since graduating from TDP in 2009, Songwriting became Max's focus for many years because she knew that to be a successful artist, she needed to write some really good songs. A popular saying in the music industry is that timing is everything. And over the two years of the COVID turbulence in the world, 2022 was destined to be the time for things to click into another gear for Max. She became the 42nd winner of Star Maker, Australia's most prestigious country music competition, and rounded out that same year as a new talent nominee in the Golden Guitar Awards. Winning Star Maker placed Max in the company of previous winners that include Keith Urban, Lee Kernigan, James Blundell, and many other country music awarded TDP graduates, like Darren Coggan, Felicity Urquhart, Travis Collins, Morgan Evans, the McClymonts, Christy Lamb, Melanie Dyer, and Brad Cox. Isn't that amazing? That is so impressive. So at the Tamworth Country Music Festival this year, Max was awarded the 2024 New Talent of the Year Golden Guitar winner. And also the Golden Guitar nominee for Female Artist of the Year. She continues to grow as a performer and songwriter whilst touring a special guest on the Wolf Brothers tour that runs for most of the year. This year in 2025, jam packed with writing, recording and releasing music, performing in shows and festivals all around Australia, debuting in New Zealand in September. She'll make another trip to Nashville to continue writing, recording and performing. This scholarship will enable Max to use her extensive touring program to create an impressive and innovative video marketing campaign and so build upon her brand and fan connection. Congratulations on a fabulous career so far, Max, and keep chasing your dreams. <laughs> Honestly, that was so lovely. Thank you, Mary. I've always had so much respect for Mary from the moment that I met her for so many reasons, for being such a strong female leader in the industry and for dedicating so much time to supporting new talent and also because I always wanted Mary's nod of approval because she didn't give it out unless you'd worked really hard <laughs> and done all the things that it took to get that nod. So I've always been really grateful for your support, Mary. And for the TDP, I, you know, I was a little kid from a country town, grew up in a non-musical family and had this dream to be like all of my favourite big country singers and through meeting people like Mary and, and everyone at the TDP, I was able to learn so much about the industry and be so supported. And I feel really lucky now. I, I come to as many of the graduation concerts as I can and I was here last year and I've, I've just recently actually worked with um, everybody that's going to be graduating tonight, which has been really cool to give them feedback and be a part of it all. And I know how much it helps to uh, grow your career and and teach you so much about the industry, so I absolutely love that. 
Um, I actually want to tell a quick funny story. Um, so, like I said, I always wanted Mary's nod of approval and my mum's actually here with me tonight and whenever we come to Sydney, we always think about our time coming to the TDP and it was like my mum and I's special time once a month coming down and uh, Mary actually found out that my mum was a hairdresser <laughs> and one day she said, I'm going to ask your mum to give me a haircut and I thought, oh no, this could be the end of my career. <laughs> What if it's the worst haircut she's ever had? And then mum ended up cutting her hair with paper scissors in the back room of TDP. And Mary still tells me that it was a good haircut, so that's good. <laughs> I'm very grateful for that haircut and for everything that has brought me to this, to this moment. But this is going to really, really help. Um, I've had some really exciting moments in my career happen over the past couple of years and so many of my dreams have come true but the thing that you very quickly realise is that the more success you have, the more expensive everything gets and the more you have to invest into everything, particularly when you want to take Australian music onto the world stage. So this is really going to help so much in the next steps of my journey. So thank you Mary, thank you Andrew B, thank you everyone. <laughs> Thank you, Mary, and congratulations, Max, and love the story about Mary. We, we try to collect them whenever we can from past students. Ladies and gentlemen, as we conclude the formalities tonight and get on with the concert, can I remind you that our applications are now open for our next student intake starting in late July. More information is on the TDP website and in our event app. As too is information about the TDP's charity status and your ability to be issued with a tax-deductible receipt should you like to donate. We do need uh, donations to continue our program and our scholarships, and there is no donation too big or small. Guests, I trust you will all enjoy this night of celebration. And now it is my pleasure to welcome our fabulous TDP Artistic Director, Peter Cousins AM, to introduce our concert. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Lovely to see you all here on this beautifully warm and comfy Friday evening. This evening, you will be witnessing 27 songs. Over half of these songs are original songs. 11 were recorded in 301 Studios in Sydney. And these 11 songs, as an album, can be purchased at www.tdpmusic.store purchased. I'll say it again. Purchased. It's story time, those who've been to TDP. In a musical world, pretty much controlled by Spotify, why would I purchase a song when a few dollars a month I can access millions of songs to listen to? With over a million songs uploaded to Spotify each week. I'll say it again. A million songs. The abundance of songs has made song valueless and changed the way we value and appreciate music. We pay for coffee, drinks, theatre tickets, pencils, rubber bands, bobby pins, toilet paper, socks, hair products, Maccas, KFC. Why don't we pay for songs? Well, the CEO of Spotify believes that the content uploaded to Spotify costs next to nothing to create and produce. Let me say that again to all the singer-songwriters and producers in this room. It costs next to nothing to create and produce. And with the possibility of over half of the music now being produced by artificial intelligence, he may be right. But what about the context of the human being, the human creative imagination? At TDP, our goal is to unlock the imaginations of our emerging artists and guide them toward creating and performing songs that express a unique and individual view of the world. Their view, vibrant, wild, comforting, joyous, abstract, Loving. 
priceless. In my 40-year career as a singer and actor, I have on three occasions felt the sublime feeling of being truly valued by an audience that lifted both me, the performer, and audience above the usual everyday experience in the theatre. On three occasions, I was greeted by silence. No clapping. A compelling silence that left us all in no doubt about the value of the song and the story it shared. And the sacred role the song plays in all our lives. As a gift to our remarkable 2024 TDP artists, I invite you to value their performances in Act One in the same way, without clapping. To set them apart from millions of songs that exist in the world, just for tonight, an experiment in silence. Rest the hands and value with your heart. It may feel odd, it may feel weird not to clap, but one thing is for sure, you will always remember this night and these 11 wonderful, creative human beings. <laughs>